the 21st Sunday after Pentecost, Year A, from Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. In the name of that Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nobody wants to be replaced. Our readings for this week all discuss matters of handing the gospel message on to somebody else. But in order to do that handing on, we have to come to grips with our anxiety about being replaced. We know that we fade away like the grass. We know that God turns us back to the dust. But that knowledge doesn't make us comfortable with the idea of a world from which we ourselves have passed on. And so we hesitate. We stand grieving with Moses on Mount Debo instead of rejoicing in his continued vigor and Joshua's readiness to carry on the work. Jesus is getting at this grief and anxiety when he asks the Pharisees about David calling the Messiah Lord when the Messiah is meant to be David's son. Surely being David's son means following David's model. But David's referring to the Messiah as Lord suggests that the Messiah will have a higher authority, maybe even a totally different type of authority. Loving God with all you've got and your neighbor as yourself means putting all our past and future investments of time, talent, and treasure at the disposal of God and of the changes God might demand for the good of our neighbor. As Paul puts it in his first letter to the Thessalonians, just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. In other words, we were given the good news for sharing, like a nursery school teacher shares instruction with children, testing them, not in order to reject them, but rather to call forth their gifts and development, and to identify areas where more attention is needed. This, after all, is what redemption is all about. The good news that we share from one generation to another is that we can afford to love our neighbors as ourselves because God is not weighing one's value against another's. We can afford to love God with all we've got because God loves all we've got and does not reject what we have to offer. Let us therefore open our arms without hesitation, that we might share with one another not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>